Welcome to the Techie One. Today we're going to be unboxing the Unify G3 video camera. And how uh, do they have? There it is. Camera. It's actually pretty solid. Ethernet cable goes in the back. What this is for? We'll find out later. Our cable. PoE adapter. Mounting bracket. Mounting screws. And it looks like this goes around the cable in the back of it. So it's waterproof. Huh. It's a pretty nice design. Oh, that makes things so much easier. Reset button in the back of it. Perfect. All right, now time to set up the camera. First, we're gonna take the PoE adapter and we're gonna connect our LAN cable into the LAN port. So. There we go. Hold on one second. There we go. In the LAN port. And then we're gonna take our second cable. Ta-da! and plug it into the camera. Really nice if I had a stand right now. Now, you can attach it in to the bottom of the base and into the camera. Like so. So then you don't see any any uh, cables once it's mounted. All right, and then we connect -a -boom -boom, this end of the Ethernet cable into the PoE port. There we go, and the camera should be coming online. Infrared. There we go. Now it's back to the computer. Alright, and now that we're back to the computer, I already pulled it right up. Look at that. Now we just have to manage it. Whoops, there we go. Username, UBNT, password, UBNT. Manage. I believe this takes a minute. Now that it's online, we're just going to reboot it. And I'll finish upgrading. All right, and there we go. These are the IP addresses. The camera's already upgraded. You can view the live view. You can manage the recordings. Right now, it's not set to record. Um, you can set the motion detection, whether to record seconds before, seconds after. You can actually configure the zone, which I'll show you real quick. It'll show your live feed screenshot, and you can just manipulate this in any direction. You can add more and make another box somewhere else. Like, let's say that's a register, or God knows what you have, but you can just record that single spot. Um, we're just going to trash all that and revert it back to normal, because I'm not going to mess with any of that yet. You can look at the statistics on it. You can manage it, you can unmanage it, you can change the resolution, every other bit aspect of it, RTSP services, and then you can view your recordings in here, whether by the week, 
or just by the camera. There you go. That's how you set up the Unified G3 cameras. Alternatively, you can also click on the IP address, log into the camera itself, standard password UBNT UBNT, and then you can actually set up this particular camera. We are going to be let's go with New York. And I passed it. There we go. Unified video mode that's connected to the NVR. And in here, you can change the IP address, the network you're connected to, the system itself. You can update the camera, disable the microphone display a logo, anything else you want. For this particular camera, I'm just going to change the name. Camera 1. And there you go. Camera 1. <laughs> a little bit too in focus. 